The show is back yet again to what else? Talk about movies. What you think we are? Exchanging pottery? This is Nick, and only Nick for this duration. But don't worry, the others will return down the line. We may even be bringing you that horror goodness, you never know. Stay tuned for that. Uh. For right now, though, I'm dishing out my thoughts on Netflix's latest release, Enola Holmes. Let's jump right in. The film revolves around the titular Enola Holmes, young sister of famous detectives Mycroft and Sherlock Holmes. On the day of her 16th birthday, Enola's mother mysteriously leaves home without warning. It's then that Enola sets off for London to search for the answer to this unusual situation. All the while navigating the fast life of the city, dodging her two older brothers who fear for her safety, and coming across any other mysteries that happen to come her way. So, like most everybody back in 2016 with a Netflix account, I was hugely stricken with Stranger Things when it premiered. For a chief amount of reasons, one of them being the debut of Millie Bobby Brown as Eleven. And since then, I've been taking note of her as one of the finer child actors of this generation. She's really remarkable in any capacity she plays. Last year, we got to see her film debut in Godzilla King of the Monsters, and I thought she was really good in that. And here, she's got a starring role and is also producing kind of a pseudo-passion project for her, as this movie is based on a kind of a little-known side story to Sherlock Holmes. I certainly never heard of it, but apparently it means a lot to her if she's willing to put her chips on the table for this. And for what it is, it's pretty fun. Comes off as higher echelon Nickelodeon or Disney Channel TV movie stuff. So in that regard, it's quite enjoyable. It feels like a light adventure with a decent mystery being strewn about that you can kick back with some popcorn and just watch for a couple hours. Right away, the reason to watch this movie is Millie Bobby Brown. Once again, she's fantastic. The movie really plays into her acting strengths all around. She can laugh, she can cry, she can joke, she can run. She can do all the good stuff. She does it all here. As Enola, she's a very likable protagonist. This movie also carries kind of a light pro... Okay, maybe not light, but a semi-overt pro-feminist message. Which isn't too bad here, compared to a lot of other pro-feminism movies as of late. The whole hook is Enola is navigating a transitional period in her life, as well as a transitional period in history. Or as far as the movie's backstory goes. On a thematic level, it makes for more engaging content than what you expect. And it's all thanks to her performance and how she's written that keeps you fairly engaged throughout the film. On the flip side to her, there's also a decent cast assembled. The big noteworthy player being Henry Cavill as Sherlock Holmes. He plays a very interesting take on the character. For one, he's a supporting player. And two, just his performance and the way he's written is different than what the source material would have you think. Compared to the likes of Benedict Cumberbatch or Robert Downey Jr., Cavill plays a more empathetic version of this character. That still captures his knack for deductive intelligence and snarky humor. While also showing more empathy in the character. In terms of having to be a big brother role for the title character. Cavill does it great. You also got Sam Clayton playing Mycroft. Being the biggest on-screen douchebag. But it's not cut and dry like that statement is. There's a reason for it. And it acts as a yin to Sherlock's yang, in terms of showing the perspective of the world Enola inhabits. Helena Bottom Carter also shows up for a time. She makes the most of what little screen time she has. Lewis Partridge functions okay as a sidekick to Enola, but at a point I feel like he just becomes a plot device. But otherwise, Kid does fine with what he's got. So basically, it's a decently cast and well-acted movie. But Brown is the star here, and the movie heavily revolves around her presence. It kind of takes on a light Ferris Bueller approach. Enola's always breaking the fourth wall, and there's this this overall sense that the audience is being let in on the mystery, like you're along for the ride. And it works well, setting up a light viewing atmosphere that you can get invested in and just have fun with. Like most other Holmes content, this is all about the mystery. 
It's about the unraveling of secrets and finding out where motivations lie among different parties. And yeah, it's not going to test your brain like a David Fincher movie or anything like that. But the plot almost keeps a good pace throughout. There's some parts where it dips, but quickly brings it back into the fun. And yeah, towards the end, you can kind of guess where it's going. But that's if you compare it to more serious fare like, shit, Maltese Falcon or The Third Man. No, don't do that. That's entirely the wrong way of looking at this film. The mystery does its job well. Strings along the clues, gets you invested enough, up until the end when everything just hits the fan, emotionally and physically. But these days, you can't just rely on mystery and plot and character dynamics. No, you gotta throw in action scenes and visual effects work and so forth. On that note, it's not too bad. Visually, the movie does its job pretty well. Actually, actually come to think of it visually... It's also pretty good in how it plays into the Enola character and her perspective. Cinematography uses a wide variety of angles, there's a lot, and the editing also gets pretty fancy at points. I mean, not too fancy, but enough to sell the perspective of where the movie's coming from. Anytime she breaks the fourth wall or she's narrating, it, it's going to visually reflect that through camera and editing. And then there's also action. Because you need action. Let's get action in there. The action is functional. The fight scenes are okay-ish. Don't expect the raid or John Wick. They do the job fine in that you're going to see two people fighting each other. But you won't feel much pain coming off the screen. A couple explosions, jumps from a train, stuff like that. Yeah, it works all... F the action works fine. It's not... A highlight, nor is it a detractor. It just does what it does. Also, some of the visual effects kind of okay. They're not bad, but you can definitely tell effects are being used. Unless it's subtle background filling stuff. But other than that, yeah. Basically, the point is, it does. the movie doesn't do anything too remarkable. But what it does is does fine to get across the story it's trying to tell. Yeah, there's really not a whole lot left to say about this movie. And Nola Holmes is exactly what you expect. Looking at a couple reviews, just because I felt like it this time around. Looking at a couple reviews, everyone's almost in agreement that had this movie came out years back, or if I was a child watching this today, I would just adore it probably for the next few years. Enola Holmes has got that power to it. If you got young children in the family... Or if you just have a childlike sense of wonder and sensibilities, if you're still a kid at heart, basically, you're going to like this film a heck of a lot. And even if you're not, it's still plenty fun. You cannot go wrong with this movie. I think for my final rating, I'll give this a three and a half. The movie sells itself on being a vehicle for Millie Bobby Brown, as well as being its own unique spin on the Sherlock Holmes source material. And it's a lot of fun. She's great in it. It's decently investing through the mystery and the filmmaking. And yeah, it's just fun. You want something easy to watch? You want something to make you feel good about by the end of it? Then yeah, throw this on. It's on Netflix. It's free. It's new. Give it a go, I say. Plenty fun. That might just do it for me. This is kind of a short episode. Or really, it is a short episode. That's just how it is movie like this it's, it's got f stuff to talk about so yeah cool let me know what you guys thought of this movie if you've seen it also follow us on respected sites subscribe here on youtube follow the facebook page follow the instagram page and follow us on various podcast sites wherever we may be next time we'll be back with horror movies and maybe a couple more surprises so Take it easy, fellas.